Sitting here with the underground legend, Mr. Liff. He's in Seattle right now, man, doing some work. You know what I'm saying? Probably about to play a show soon. Actually, we played Art Eleptic last night. And, uh, man, I'm just going to let the man talk to yourself. Brother Liff, welcome to our city. Hey, hey, thank you for having me, man. I love Seattle. That is my word. I'm out here every chance I get. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Like, um, you know, I talked with uh, Shana Foley. She was instrumental in putting together Art, Art Eleptic yesterday. And she was like, yo, I'm, I'm doing this thing. I was like, what do you need from me? You know what I mean? Chance to be in Seattle, word. You know, and then I talked to Henri from Grayskull uh, not too long ago. He was like, yo, we doing a release party for the record. I was like, where is it at? You know what I'm saying? So we, we're going to hit up Portland on s September 10th, and then we're going to play Chop Suey on September 11th here in Seattle. So like I said, man, any chance I get to be in, out here, I'm out here. You know what I mean? For real. No doubt, man. Man, Mr. Lip, what else can I say, man? Y'all out there, y'all know what's up, man. Did you have anything new coming, Mr. Lee? Brother, you know, I'm I'm doing a lot of recording. I'm actually doing, man, it's kind of crazy. I'm kind of working simultaneously on four records. One of them is with this this band called Galactic, you know, because um, we just, they, they actually have a new album that just came out last Tuesday yeah. called From the Corner to the Block, you know what I mean? And they included myself, Gift of Gab, uh, Charlie Tuna, um, Latif, the True Speakers on there. So that, you know what I mean? It was, it was crazy, you know, to just be involved in that project. And I, you know, I've been blessed enough to just go out with that band and just you know I, w I was in New Orleans uh, last Tuesday for their record release party we played in San Diego on the 25th morning of the 26th I came up here to play Art Eleptic but it's been cool just being involved with them and seeing them because they're doing it on a big level man these guys have been in the game for like well over a decade and they've been a touring machine so their fan base is used to just getting fed with you know you know uh, two or three hour long shows from them so I'm seeing you know their hustle and it's, it's strengthening my hustle and all that but then also my man Edon who's been lurking on the underground for a minute um, he's producing an album we're, well, we're working on an album together and that album's gonna include a lot of like, you know, underground legends from Boston, like Acrobatic, you know, my man Insight. Everyone's gonna get on the mic and bless that on that record. Um, then, you know, my boy Willie Evans uh, Jr. And, and my man Therapy from Jacksonville, they they doing the bulk of production on, on another record I got coming out. And then I'm here in Seattle working with my man P Smooth, you know what I'm saying, who is doing like P Smooth, you know what I mean? We're going to the studio, to, yeah, we're going to the studio tonight, you know what I'm saying, to, to get things done. Done. So I'm gonna be here recording that record probably until like the middle of September, man, and then I'm gonna flex back east, you know. Okay, well, mm -hmm. man, yo, again, <laughs> it's a blessing, Mr. Lip, man. man. This is Mr. Lip in Seattle, bro. Yeah, right. Letting you know, street fights, bro. We are everywhere. We see everybody, bro. Real MCs be in our city, man. You know what I'm saying? Cats that y'all listen to and love. Mr. Lynn. But what's the, but what's the deal with you know, I'm trying to get to Quest Stadium and see how live this this these fans get at these Seahawks oh, get. Oh, you know what I mean? I went to the, hey. Quest I went to the game on Saturday, man. And it was no I went to the game on Saturday, man, it was no joke, man. Oh, like, joke. Check this out. Okay, Quest Field holds sixty six thousand people. Mm -hmm. Sixty-one thousand are season ticket holders. So if you get a ticket, you one of five thousand, no, one of four thousand tickets that was yeah, just available. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's how the fans get down here. We got the loudest stadium in the whole entire NFL. Yo, man. Real deal. You know what? Real deal. Right here. I bet. Yeah, and it's and it's and it's uh, it's like ten blocks away from where we're at. Yeah. But you can still hear it all the way from down here, yeah. like for right here. Like seriously, when the games are going. Yeah, that's, that's Seahawks crazy. is the truth, man. See, for real. I'm trying, I'm trying to get into that stadium and just soak up that energy from the crowd, you know. Because let me, t well, y'all know I, I'm from Boston originally, man, and we we had it kind of like that at one point before before the Pats started rattling off some championships. Yeah. Cats was real hungry. That's what y'all remind me of. That's why I want to see y'all break through. You know what I'm saying? And just and just get it. You know yeah. that joint against the Steelers was bullshit. Yeah, Can I curse on this show? That's, Yo, yeah, man, that's, saying that. that's the truth. You bullshit, man. Straight up, man. The refs handed. I'm not saying the Steelers weren't weren't hungry, cause they were hungry. They won all those games on the road, but that Super Bowl was straight bullshit, man. I turned that joint off. You know what I mean? It take a, I'm a I'm an avid football fan. In fact, I got I got a a, a, a talk radio show called uh yeah it's yo yo uh what is it yo football radio you know what I'm saying and you can catch us on uh, yo football at gmail dot com if you want to write in. But yo, I'm all about the NFL. And that game was garbage. Y'all yeah. got robbed. Straight up. Thank you. So yeah, yeah, brother. <laughs> that wasn't right. It wasn't right. It wasn't right. Yeah. Hey, but don't sleep on the Mariners, man. Because right now we're in the lead of the wild card. We're two games above the Yankees and we're destined to go right into the to the pennant race. Like right right away. Like please keep the Yankees out of there.
You know what I'm saying? Please do. Please do. Safeco Field. Safeco Field. It's a million dollar. It's a billion dollar stadium, and they built it straight up. There is no bad seat in the whole yeah. place. You pay five dollars, you still got as good seats as if you paid like a hundred dollars. Yeah, bro. And then they got all kinds of food you can eat, all kinds of liquor you can drink. Everything got a bar in there. I'm trying to see both those stadiums, man. I want to see Safeco and Quest. I know, yo, the, yo, I just took some pictures down. You know what I'm saying? I was down on first, taking mad snapshots, like you know, leaning over like where the highway is, and you can see the fields right. I mean, the stadiums there. Yeah, it's crazy, dog. Crazy. It's good layout, man. The city has got a beautiful layout to it, man. Well, yo, again, I'm Incubus. That's my man Reese, and this is Mr. Lift. Street fights. We out of here, y'all. Peace. Street fight. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it is. What is it? Your body.